Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at something a little bit peculiar. That's right, I think most of you will be familiar with the old traditional ale, old peculiar from Thixins Breweries up in North Yorkshire. Well this is something a little bit different, although very much with the same name. This is Spirit of Old Peculiar, specifically this one, the oaked version. I'll go into that in just a second. But this is effectively a distilled version of that famous beer, Old Peculiar, into spirit form. It's 40% and for all intents and purposes, it's just some top shelf liquor, but distilled from beer, which, well, there's a lot of similarities between all grain whiskey and beer, I guess, but I don't know. We will just have to see, won't we? So, um, a quick rundown of how I came about this. Um, I was up in North Yorkshire three or four weeks ago now, um, in and around Masham, which is where both Theakstons themselves and, of course, Black Sheep Brewery are located. Um, I walked into Theakstons and said, what have you got that you can't really get anywhere else? And he pointed me towards this. I assumed, like most people would in that situation, they just have some beers or products that they stock in their kind of visitor center that you can only really order directly from their website and not in supermarkets and that sort of thing. Bought it, it sat on my shelf there. If you look back in any of my previous videos since I reviewed um, Theakston's Best Bitter and Black Sheep Best Bitter, um, that box has been sat right, right there, right there. You can't really see what it was, but it was there. Assuming as you would that this wasn't a brand new product, I didn't rush to review it. I thought loads of people have seen it already. It just was new to me. Didn't even look it up. Lo and behold, last night, Theakston's on Instagram, countdown timer for something to be revealed in a greyed out version of this very bottle. As you would imagine, I piqued my interest a little bit. I thought maybe they're doing a new version. Looked it up online. Well, actually, I can't find any information about this online at all. So this appears to be something of an accidental exclusive, um, which could have been much earlier had I got my act together, but never mind, we're here now. What you need to know is they do two versions of this, the oaked version, which I have here, and the non-oaked version, just the spirit of Old Peculiar, which is a clear um, spirit, kind of more like vodka or gin, I guess. Um, and this oaked version, which as you would assume has been aged in oak barrels, which I was reliably informed by the man in the shop to has a bit of a young Japanese whiskey vibe to it. So I've got my whiskey tasting glass and yeah, let's find out what it's all about. Before we crack this open then, here is a quick look at the bottle. It's uh, pretty nicely put together, that is. Theakston's Oaked Spirit of Old Peculiar, the legend, rather than the legendary ale that sits on the beer. Uh, distilled in Yorkshire, 40%, 70 centilitres, and there's a load of info on the back as well, which we'll get into a bit later. Light floral aroma when we open it. In the glass then, it has got that kind of light, straw-coloured vibe, and... To be honest, uh, yeah, it does remind me of some Japanese whiskies, it has to be said. There you go, nice little close up there. It has a few legs on it, nothing silly, nothing crazy. The aroma's interesting, it's got, it's kind of leading lightly floral forefront that leads you into that, oh, this must be a, a whiskey I'm not familiar with kind of, experience and then it takes a twist and a turn and becomes a bit deeper and darker but without the way you would expect if it were whiskey. When whiskies get that kind of depth it becomes a little bit more smoky, strong, spicy. This has a bit of a bready quality that what you would expect from malt beer it's oh there is some woodiness, obviously, from the oak barrel, but yeah, the remains in the depths of there, amidst the strength of the booze and everything else, a bit of a light, delicate, nice malt bready quality, yeah. Very interesting. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers. Whew. Wow. Um, I mean, it's 40%. Some things at 40% go down very smooth. Some make you go... That one, well, it certainly makes itself known, but it's not offensive. Um, I will go into the full details on the back of the bottle here, but there's one big line that's just shouting out at me right now, which says, 
the best daft idea we've ever had. And I can see why, and you can probably see from the smile on my face. This is exceptional. I'm not going to beat around it. This is actually very, very good. It's got a light, caramelly, slightly French patisserie vibe. It's got a real, yeah, you can forget piss up in a brewery. This is piss up in a bakery. And, and to be honest, I'm, I'm all about that. Oh, I'm, I'm shocked, to be honest. I'm shocked. This is difficult to unpack in terms of a taste profile. I'm going to try properly in a minute, but it's undoubtedly strong. doesn't hide its strength, especially, but it's so incredibly Moorish. It doesn't have that syrupy nature of kind of some lower ABV spirits that keep you kind of cloying back, kind of Drambuie and Jägermeister and that sort of thing. But it has the approachability of those in a slightly weird way. Yes, there is a nasal, strong ethanol kind of thing initially, or at least as it approaches your nose, but it doesn't translate into a difficult to drink experience. It's got light sweetness, butteriness, that oak barrel charm, and honestly, it just leaves you wanting to go back. I've drank probably half of what I poured out already. This could end up being a very silly review if we're not careful. Before it does though, let's try and nail down what the flavors are in this magnificent creation. Top to bottom taste test. So initially, lightly sweet, slightly floral. Next bit, it's robust oak wood. And that wood, very quickly, morphs into a sweet, buttery, and then leading into a slight caramel edge all across the space of a few seconds. You get a real kind of rainbow between those three colors. Between those three colors? It's affected me already. Between those three flavors that you would think, do they really work? But actually, as you swipe through them, which is what it does, yes, yes they do. And it ends on that slight woodiness, that slight floralness, that I guess that finish is like a dialed down Japanese whiskey. It's not got that full whiskey intensity, but it's got a lot of the tips of the hat to that kind of thing. And wow, yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm a big fan. Right, let's take a read on the back of this bottle then. So, Oaked Spirit of Old Peculiar, the best daft idea we've ever had. Absolutely. It says, distilling our beer to make a spirit. Whose daft idea is that? Well, mine actually. My family have been brewing the legendary Theakston's Old Peculiar in Masham for nearly 200 years. Why not, we inquired of ourselves, employ the alchemy of distillation to present the legend in a new and intriguing way? Why not indeed? And here it is, oaked spirit of Old Peculiar, infused with oak shavings from our own cooperage to perfectly complement its subtle hints of cherry, vanilla and banana interesting enjoy this unique spirit with ice or water to release the full flavors i think it's one of the best stuffed ideas we've ever had well there you go it's simply described as a beer spirit 40 percent and that's kind of it the usual information um so cherry fair vanilla yes absolutely banana some of you will know i'm not a big fan of banana but it's just real bananas that I really shy away from. I like Belgian yeast and that has a banana-y flavor to some. This, for me, not really. It's exactly what I mentioned before, but hey, I'm sure to some, maybe there's a hint of banana in there too. I have nothing else to say about this. I'm aware this has been a relatively short video, but to be honest, uh, I just need to get this reviewed and out there given that apparently it's brand new. So um, yeah, any questions on this, please let me know in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. But um, obviously I've not tried the regular, I've only tried the oak, but the oak for me is a whopping thumbs up. So um, yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, I think it's worth a go. Uh, for what it's worth, I paid around £40 for this bottle in person at uh, the brewery, now slash distillery, I guess. Um, how much it'll be when it gets released tomorrow, I've got no idea, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to find it on their website. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already subscribed, if you will be so kind, and I'll catch you next time.
Cheers.